City Watch. Move along. Spelling is a skill that all adventurers, Scolia Arcana or no, should take to heart. Another time. If you're on any assignment for the Order, I would make sure you're properly outfitted before you start. Come again. <sighs> Alchemy is about creating something worth more than the sum of its parts. to explode yourself. Greetings, Arsage. Many greetings, Arch Sage. What can I do for you? Attend to your studies. Good day. Welcome. If you please. City Watch, move along. Keep the peace. Curios, talismans, items of power. City Watch never. Fine day for a battle. A 
ships are loading now for Melsen Shear. Are you ready to board? Right away. Agarth, you know better than any of us how this will end. Why must we fight a war that you know we will not win? You would still ask that to Lara. After all you've seen. Until I get an answer, Fate Weaver. Until then. Why do we fight? Because there is hope. Because only through battle can we break the chains that fate has forged. Fine day for a battle. I hope they don't attack the trolls again. Witch Knight Malwyn and his forces bested me ten years ago, and I've been preparing myself since then. If I'm not ready now, then I don't deserve another chance. Come on, the commander's waiting for us. What's this? I've heard the soldiers say that death walks the walls of Melsenshir. Something tells me they're wrong. Death has only just arrived. Need to know something about Melsenshir? I'm the one to ask. Keep them coming! The great general is back! Just like she... Not exactly the heroes of legend, but you're a welcome sight nonetheless. Likely, you've come to see the fortress before it falls. I've seen her stand for the last ten years, but the end, I think, has finally come. Our scouts report that the Tuatha are massing, and in their wake we've seen it. The Niskaru Lord, Baylor, has come for Melsenshir at last. Indeed. They expect us to hide behind the walls of Melsenshir. Instead, we'll rush the field and delay the Baylor's arrival. That leaves the Witch Knight. Malwyn is the commander of the Tuatha forces, and likely the one who has made a pact with the Baylor. You and Talera will be part of an effort to kill him. If we can kill Witch Knight Malwyn, then the Baylor may run rampant in the field. And in the chaos, we can rout the Tuatha. It is much to hope for, but that's the plan. The real mission goes to General Talera and yourself. My place is with my brothers and sisters, on the ground and against the enemy. When you're ready, come meet me by the gates. We've hidden from these nightmares long enough. Now we must face them, and perhaps we'll live to see the morning. Fine day for a battle. General ah, the one who travels with Talera. Can I interest you in something? Another time, then. I don't care if the bartender's manning the ramparts. Someone has to have a drink for sale. Hey. 
Child, you can't hide a good battle from an old hero. I wouldn't have missed this for all the wine in the House of Ballads. It's been twenty years since I've had the honor of fighting by Talera's side. They used to call her the Lady of the Lance, and they will again if I'm any judge. Keep walking. Looking to restock? Ilan Doldran has what you need. Back again. Greetings. What may I do for you? I grew up with Bronwyn in Talera, so don't think that the only thing I can do with a blade is forge one. Happy hunting. Give your armor to Tarek Smith for repairs, and he'll give it back better than new. I've been here almost a year. I guess you could call me a veteran at this point. Before the war, I worked for one of the merchant houses in Rathir. I've been up there. The great general, what is it? Time is running out! Cluricon is all swamp, jungle and death. Have you ever tried fighting an army in a place like this? It's hot, wet, and it always smells like something died, because something did. We've been the front line of this war for the last decade. The fact that Mel Senshir still stands at all is a testament to all we've sacrificed. I was just a child before the siege started. I joined the army because I dreamed of becoming a hero like the great General Tilera. Funny thing, dreams. The General's army used to defend us, but that was before the Tuatha started summoning Niskaru to join them. Tilera's forces never stood a chance. Still, she blamed herself and went into exile. We could have used her here, but heroes only show up when you really need them, right? Those bastards keep squeezing us and squeezing us. Well, it's time for them to see what we mortals can do. When Melson Shear was built, the Winter Fey weren't the friendliest of neighbors, but they were nothing like the Tuatha they've become. Steal yourselves. The battle is not to be taken lightly. Then let us go. 
We've had sightings of the Tuatha Vanguard. When they enter the courtyard, we will open the gates and counterattack. You and Talera will use the distraction to execute your plan. One way or another, this will be over soon. For Malwin can now begin in earnest. I will take one path and you another. If a Wigeland's troops hold, then Malwin will be delayed at the outer wall with the Balor. But we should make sure he doesn't get past us. Now we must get moving. There is no room for error.
that again. I'm doing just fine on my own. In any event, you've got to get to Talera. A Weiglin's troops can't hold the two other back. Anyway. Oh, finally, some reinforcements. We tried to fight off the two other, but they took most of our company prisoner. They're threatening to execute the rest unless we lay down our arms. You could get in amongst them, silently, if possible, and save what's left of the survivors.
chance before they can regain control of the creature.
Still alive! You've got to destroy Baylor before it tears this place apart. I know, child. Everything seemed still in that moment when she struck the Baylor. At least she died how she wanted to. But her sacrifice won't mean anything unless you do something to stop that beast.
are you reporting in? A Niscado as big as this fortress. It's pushed us all the way back here, and now it is tearing down the very walls of Mel Senshir. The Tuatha must be truly mad to conjure up such a beast. The Tuatha are all over our lines. The battle is a bit of a mess right now. I heard them stop pounding, a bunch of fighting, and then nothing. Guess I have you to thank that we're not completely overrun. We held off the last wave, and then that thing showed up. I dragged them both here, but I don't think they're going to make it. Join you? I can't just leave my posting in such a state. I'll try to hold up here best as I can. Good luck to you.
They're gone. After 10 years, I can't believe they're finally gone. We lost many, but we all knew the risk. I almost joined them. The Tuatha had my back against the outer wall when there was this flash of light. I looked up, and all I saw was the silhouette of you on top of that beast. It was the most glorious sight of my life. But I never saw the General. I'd like to personally thank her. Then, the rumors of her dishonor will finally be silenced. She gave everything to us in the end, and the world will know that. When we rebuild these walls, we'll name them after General Talera. Her memory will stand as long as the ramparts shine. But she never would have been here had you not delivered her to us. It can never be enough, but we hope you'll accept this as our thanks. We freed the city, but the Tuatha still hold most of Cluricon. Over the years, they've infected every part of these swamps. Clearing them out isn't going to be easy, but we might have help. There are rumors of a small band of fighters harassing the Tuatha. Perhaps the hero of Mel Senshir can convince them to work with us. Good luck. Our soldiers are doing their best out there, but it's still a nightmare. We've heard rumors about a band of soldiers striking the Tuatha for years, but nothing solid. They said their forces were crippled by a bitter frost, but it never gets that cold in the swamps. Watch out for those red-eyed bastards. Allies can come from the strangest places. Off into the swamps, I assume? None that would be of any help. After a decade of Tuatha control, they've all gone quiet. But if there are any out there, I'm sure they'll be looking for you. Just keep your eyes open. After all, you'll be in their swamp. The Fae of House Vengeance has always embraced their anger. Before Gadflow, they accepted it and controlled it. Now they wield it like a pair of swords. When mortals were welcomed into the Fae lands, Vengeance already despised us as interlopers. When Gatlo declared war, they were already on his side. Be on your way. Any luck out there? They're fighting the Tawatha, right? Since you're the one who defeated Witch Knight Malwin, I suspect they'll be looking to find you. The Fae in the House of Vengeance are, bar none, the fiercest, strongest, most downright unstoppable creatures in the land. Not that they have a lot to be vengeful about. After all, Gadflo was the one who started the damned war. Gadflo is just some trumped-up Fae who started hearing voices, I gather. But a crazy with an army is still a threat, sure enough. The Niskaru are hideous creatures of chaos and corruption. They hated the Arathi, but unlike them, the Niskaru still stalk our world. Thankfully, they've mostly been driven back from the Feylands, but you still find a few lurking deep underground. You know where you stand with a the gnome. They're always so focused on their work or research or what have you, that they've got no time for lies. Shame, they try to stay out of fights. Much as we could use their help in the war, staying neutral is about the only way they can stay safe. The Crystal War, they've been calling it. Ten years ago, the Winter Fae turned violent and attacked us in force, calling themselves the Tawatha Deon. They say it's their sacred duty to cleanse the mortals from their lands. Naturally, the humans and Alpha who live here aren't so happy with that plan. It's been going back and forth for years. Where there's war, there's soldiers nervous about their fate, and that's where I come in. Strange crystal, Prismere. It's normally a shade of blue, but when you treat it and charge it with magic, it turns blood red. 
He once offered me an honorary knighthood after I slayed the Dream Eater of Amora. He was quite gracious when I turned him down. Do you know the Summer Court in Issa? Well, the Winter Court are their darker siblings. They're not evil, but they're definitely not nice. Beautiful city, isn't it? You can see why they don't like letting most mortals in. Even the best of us make it look like a mess by comparison. I'll meet you in Mel Senshir. Keep walking. It's time to celebrate. The Baylor's dead, and the Tuatha have fallen back to Cursewood. You and me, let's drink to victory. Oh, I come from a long line of soldiers. We don't know anything else. I'd pay good gold to see anyone in my family bake a loaf of bread or read a book. Thought we were doomed, didn't you? You and everybody else. But nobody accounted for the hero of Mel Senshir. I'm not doing this for the glory. Glory's worthless when you're dead. I'm doing this because someone has to. And if not me, then who? No. Not Tack. Not Tack. Damn the Tawatha! Damn them to the fires! This isn't how it was supposed to happen. I was supposed to be the soldier. He was supposed to stay home to watch Mother. I knew he was in Cursewood, but... but they must have been in the path of the Baylor. They were trying to shield us. Poor Tack. Mother will be ruined. Well met. Keep walking. Hello. The next ship out of here is heading for Rathia. Are you interested in coming aboard? To Rathia we go. Hail, warrior! Hey! Back off! Tinkerer here. 
so it's done. <laughs> Better you than me, I suppose. With the war still raging, there's always plenty of bad news to deliver. You should see the stacks of them in Rathir. Thank you. You have more courage than I do. And I've stared into the eye of the enemy. Take this. It's my weekly pay. I can't bear to feel its weight. <laughs>